is Crystal with Pineapple Papers. And I know I just showed you the March My Creative Scrapbook kit last week, but this past weekend, my son had a baseball tournament in Laughlin. And so I decided to take that kit and to play with it. Well, I killed the kit over the weekend. I made 10 layouts. And I will tell you that the only things in addition to what comes in the kit that I brought was uh, tissue paper and white cardstock, as well as some Distress Oxide inks in peeled paint, saltwater taffy, fossilized amber, and speckled egg. So if you're curious and you have this kit of which uh, Distress inks go well with it, those are the ones that I picked. So let me show you what I have left. Um, so paper-wise, I have these two scraps and then this chunk of paper, um, which I didn't have to save, but um, I was thinking maybe I had an idea with this, but I really don't have anything left. So I need to get home and uh, get into my stuff to use that. So I'm not actually going to count whatever layout I make with this piece of paper for this kit. So, um, of the 42 piece ephemera from Spring Bi Vibes from Pink Fresh, I used them all, including some of the packaging. And then the 68 cardstock pieces from Spring Vibes, I used all of those as well. I did use my stencil a lot, so we'll see that. Obviously, that's not done. Um, of this Echo Park frames and tags, I used a few things. Um, not, not a ton, because I wasn't really doing super springy. And I wasn't really... I don't know, I wasn't really loving the colors mixing. Like the blues are really different. Um, and there was only this one paper, which I guess I could have saved and and done something with. But So I have quite a few of those left. And then I have quite a few of these title pieces as well. So this is a lot of words. Um, there was a ton of words in the cardstock stickers and I just, I couldn't seem to get all those words on the layouts. Now, mind you, I have lots of words on these layouts, but I just feel like, I feel like there's just too, there was too many words in this kit for me. So this is the first page that I did. So I did use that Echo Park paper, the one piece that came in. I did a little, uh, I guess it's book ear kind of thing. And then there was this paper from Pink Fresh that I told you when I unboxed it, I wanted to cut it apart and distress the edges. So that's exactly what I did. And I put it back together. Now the back side of this paper is this green. So I matted my photo in that. I used the stencil with the fossilized amber around it. Cute picture of my nephew. And then um, did a little cluster here, here, and here. Did a little tone on tone with some of the words, except for that one. That's okay. So that was the first layout I did. I They are in order of how I did them. Um, so these are both Pink Fresh papers. I did a torn edge. I did tear off the back so that I could use the other side of this paper as well as this one. And then because I was worried about paper, I went ahead and matted my photo three times in white and then just distressed, inked the edges here. So in the peeled paint, fossilized amber, and speckled egg, which are the three colors. And then I wanted this Breathe It In to stand out a little bit. So this piece of paper is actually that saltwater taffy. I just added the Distress ink to that. And it goes really well with these. I did a little cluster up here in the top. Um, this photo is when we got, during COVID, when we got fitted for our new masks because we were out of the old masks. So we had to get fitted to see what mask was going to work for us. So... 
they put this really nasty, bitter stuff in, and if you can taste it, your mask doesn't work. So I thought that breathe it in was perfect, and <laughs> it doesn't <clears throat> smell or taste like roses or posies or daisies, but I thought it was kind of just fun. Um, a little happy to be here. Our friend took that picture, which I was like, oh, goodness. So there is that one. This one, I love how this turned out. So... I used the stencil with the peeled paint on the back piece of white cardstock and then uh, put the water on it so you can really see how that Distress Oxide worked. And then I tore sides of two different papers, decided to basically have everything on this bottom-ish corner of my layout. So it was perfect for me to scrapbook baseball pictures since we were at baseball and clear days sunny skies did a little embellishment cluster here put my title on this side with a little bit of a cluster I did a label so I can put the date um, soak in the spring perfect because obviously baseball is a spring sport so there's that one and then I also did a companion page basically um, to that so their school colors are yellow and blue so I used the inside piece here that I tore and laid it horizontal and then um, so I did the same thing when I backed my photo this time I just took that white cardstock did um, the peeled paint on it uh, to give me some of that green. This is just one of those strips from that first strip of paper. This is the back side. So I laid that down for a nice little shelf. A little cluster up top here. A little cluster down here. Um, the house is perfect because they're playing on their home field. So I also used that pill paint and distressed the edges of uh, the background as well as the striped paper. This one, I decided to cut this beautiful um, paper. It's not ombre. Um, it's more stripey. And then on the back side of it with this yellow polka dot, which I really liked and I wanted to be able to use it. So I trimmed this down, put it on white cardstock. I used fossilized amber to bring in that yellow around. And then I... Uh, just bent up a corner of this paper so you can see that blue that's not blue that's yellow <laughs> see that yellow and um, then that's where my photo cluster is going to go this is a sweet little basket that um, we got as a housewarming gift when uh, we moved in so I did all of my embellishing around the photo here and then just did a cute little uh, tag they're not tags, they're banners. I, I know my scrapbooking supplies, I promise. <laughs> um, some banners up here in the top with a little cluster. I really like how that works out. I think that's a really fun way to use both sides on the same layout. So there's that one. Then there's this one, which is definitely one of my favorite designs, this L-shaped design with uh, leftover strips of pattern paper. So I took a white background and then um, oops, I did gut that paper for the border. I used the stencil. I used um, all, th all four of the colors through it and just made the background a little messy. Now I kind of think it would have been fun to add um, some water drops so you can get some of that uh, distressing. But three out of four of my inks are just distress inks. They're not distress oxide. So it would have only worked. Oh, that's funny because this is, it worked on the green. I don't know what I was thinking. So I don't know. I might, I might add some water to it and see, see if it still works. So matted my photo in some tissue paper 
have a couple of labels down here for some journaling, little cluster up here. Um, and my title is Cherish This, Remember This Moment. This was when we went to visit my grandpa for his 90th birthday. This was right before we left. So a little picture of the three of us. And then this one. So I fussy cut the pattern paper. Um, so the pattern paper, there's a piece of it left. You can kind of see it had, it was just super busy and I wanted to use it, which is funny because this is super fun and actually would have, that might've been a good little extra mat, um, if I had thought about it, but so I trimmed them all out. I used some speckled egg distressing and distressed all the edges. And then I just took a strip of tissue paper down the middle and kind of ruffled it up and placed those strips on top. I have a cute photo of my daughter riding her friend's horse. Um, her dad sent that to me did a little cluster up here and here I got quite a few of the words on there but like I said still still have lots of words even like the banners have words on them so there is that one this one is my daughter's 13th birthday um, when we did 13 fun things for her 13th birthday and so I just have a couple of leftover pictures. I made her a mini album of that, but I had these pictures left over. So that'll go, this'll go in our family album. And again, tried to get all those words on there. And plus this paper is full of words. So there is that. This one are the cutoff pieces from the second layout that I did as well as Oh, I think it's just the second layout I did. So these were the off cuts. Um, and then I had this. So I love this like arrowed design. So I went ahead and did some packaging technique with fossilized amber. And then what I did, <laughs> I didn't bring a, um, I didn't bring a paintbrush, but I did want some splatters. So I did the saltwater taffy on a piece of packaging added some water to it, it was super liquidy and I actually just had a ballpoint pen and I just kind of scooped it up and splattered it and it works perfect so you don't actually need a paintbrush to do splatters I have learned so um yeah it turned out it turned out fine so um I have this cute picture of my son my husband and my daughter as they're sitting watching TV and they, they kind of sit the same. <laughs> so, um, I just snapped a picture of them. This is where I used the packaging to map my photo as well as an extra piece of paper, did some embellishing around the photo and then a little something up there in the corner. So this is the last layout that I did. Um, I had this piece of paper and then this full piece of paper, which is that ombre. Now, originally I wanted to use this side, um, but I didn't know what else I was gonna do with it. So I went ahead and decided to use the floral, did some inking through the stencil in the background, matted with just scraps, so I couldn't even do a full mat, and then added a couple layers of tissue paper, added two embellishment clusters on each side and called it done. So those are my 10 layouts with the March kit. And the only thing now that I'm home that I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add twine in to all of these tag holes. Um, and then I'm going to probably add sequins to all of them. So I will post I think Instagram lets you post 10. I hope so. Um, and then I will post them all when they are done. So hopefully um, the same day this goes up. Today is Sunday, we just got home. I'll probably post it tomorrow. Um, 
because that'll give me a little time to get everything um, done and pictures done and and yeah so you can see if you have any questions please leave them down below I really have enjoyed my creative scrapbook um, kits so I will probably be purchasing them again but I do want to try out um, some other kits I think I have decided I am going to go with the scrap room um, especially since all of the new collections are coming out and as you know I have fear of missing out um, so they give you like bits and pieces of four different kits so for April um, I will be ordering their kit and I will probably do it again for three months and I will let you think what I let you think what I think about it let you know what I think about it so that's gonna do it for me um, I hope you stuck with me I know this is a longer video um, but there's no processes for them so I kind of wanted to show you a little closer so remember to wear your crown and we'll see you later bye